Just watch me break in your sweat You're falling into me, touch me, I swear You would do anything that I Hello, Southies! Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a brand new episode of Just Like Bailey. It is a new Let's Play. It's kind of a spin-off in a way because if you've watched my channel for any length of time, you know that I have an LP called Bailey Goes to College. And so, oh no, this is <laughs> Bailey. She has graduated from college. She's all grown up now. Um, she's living in an apartment. Oh, he just needs some attention. Poor little guy. So she lives in an apartment here in Evergreen Harbor with her cat, Oscar who's a little attention whore and he's the most adorable creature and she also works in the city of San Machino so in my mind Evergreen Harbor is really close to San Machino like if she hopped on a train she'd be there in like 30 45 minutes right so that's kind of how I view it <laughs> she's giving him some attention Telling him a little story. He's a cat. He doesn't know what you're talking about. But anyway, Bailey is having a pretty great life. She's energized from her shower after her run this morning. She's an early riser, so she woke up really early in the morning. In the last episode, I talked about changing one of her traits. She used to have the gloomy trait, which made perfect sense because... She was kind of a loner back in high school. She didn't have very many friends or anything like that. But then she went to college. She made some friends. She's lived sort of a fun little life. She had her first romance and had her heart broken. And so I changed her gloomy trait to non-committal. And the reasoning for that is, like I said, she had, she fell in love with a guy called Seb Nakamura pretty hard and pretty fast this is Sebi let's look at his profile real quick and as you can see bad romance broken up Seb for some reason he's not showing up but Seb now lives in Sulani he lives off the grid he does yoga all day she hasn't really spoken to him in months but I think that when you experience your first heartbreak there are two options. Either you are gung-ho at actually finding love or you come to the realization or believe that love isn't real or isn't for you. So I think that's kind of the extreme that Bailey is on. And even though she's not looking for love specifically, I definitely think that she is looking for a hookup. And here is someone in the hallway Omar, Amar, who is her neighbor that she can come and be friendly with before she goes to work. So it looks like Amar is feeling kind of friendly or now he's folk or playful. Now he's focused. And we're going to do a little bit of a flirtation with him. Just a little, just a little flirt to see what happens. Okay, okay, okay. He's a little into it. I'm going to ask him if he's single. And what I think I'll do is I'll maybe have her be a little bit bold and ask a, or flirt with a couple of dudes and see <laughs> what happens. See who might ask her out on a date. Let's flirt a little bit more and then we are definitely going to work because we are late okay so she's got a little bit of romance but now it is time to travel okay so Bailey is here at work she's getting started on her brand new assignment which is to help a renowned scientist so we'll say conscious is in awake is sort of like a all it's sort of a catch-all type of magazine they talk about all sorts of issues and so we'll just say that maybe she's writing a story on China, on climate change and how the new young people can help with that and blah 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 oh no it looks like a nap 
the clay nap is been activated so everyone's playing with clay that's that's fun but yeah so she is here she is working hard next to her co-workers if we were if you remember this is maureen her boss this is nikita another writer who does the same thing that she does this is jamie i believe jamie is a writer i can't really remember i'm gonna have to like remember what they do oh she's an artist so she's our graphic design artist and let's give her a heartfelt compliment um because Jamie does look nice and pretty today and some of her other co-workers so if you remember in the last part I was talking about Sandra here who has the exact same name as Bailey's best friend well I just decided to name Bailey's best friend Sandy which I think fits her personality a lot better and then this is Sandra and they actually Sandy and Sandra live together which is kind of funny so yeah they're roommates and Sandy works for a tech startup and I'm hopeful that I can get Bailey to go hang out with some of her other friends and so we can kind of catch up with them I I definitely this LP is definitely focused on Bailey but I would like to kind of visit some of the other people in her life and sort of see what they're up to as well as well as her you know getting to know these awesome people these new friends and yeah oh so one thing I want to mention we talked about how Bailey needed to get her picture up on the wall of the employees and it is here now oh gosh Seb is calling her is he in town oh goodness he must be in town well we're like in the middle of writing an article maybe what we can do is cancel now uh, say no now and then maybe invite him out later like in a couple of hours when we get off of work can't believe he's in town oh goodness the spice festival is going on tonight i think that would be a perfect thing to invite seb to it's in the spice district which we are not in i can't remember where we are are we not in the spice district oh yeah we are in the spice district because stuff is starting to populate okay perfect so we'll invite Seb once we're kind of halfway done. This article is due tomorrow, so I'm wanting her to get as much of it done as she possibly can, because it's due by 9 a.m. tomorrow for the next publication. Okay, it's seven o'clock, so here's what I'm going to do. I am going to invite to hang out at current location, Seb, but I need a bit of a buffer. So I'm also going to, if he's here, if he shows up, oh, this guy, I'm going to invite Sandy to sort of be my buffer when it comes to Seb. So we'll do that. She's got a pee, so, oh, she's here. I'm oh, so confused. Okay, so Bailey is taking the curry challenge. Here we have Seb here. Oh my goodness, he looks so different. He used to be super fashionable, and look at him now. He cut all his hair off. He looks like a yogi, just like a straight-up yogi. And so let's just kind of talk to him, see what he's been up to. Let's not feed him a bite. That's a little weird. Just ask about his career what are you what are you doing i don't know we have sandra sitting here we did invite sandy we also invited jamie oh look at them they're hugging oh she failed the spice challenge that sucks okay so seb is unemployed okay well that's interesting to know um <laughs> Yeah, he said, I'm living in Sulani, just I do some odd jobs, and I do yoga, and that's basically what I do, and I'm just gonna ask him about his day, he's like, yeah, I enjoy the sun, and the surf, and the people, and it's been a really, it's really, really good for me, you know, it's been a really good experience, and 
I think he's like, I think that Bailey, her, she's feeling, she, she has this, I'm feeling inspired right now, but I honestly think that she's just kind of like, what, I was in love with you. I was obsessed with you. You were the guy that I fell for. Oh, there's Kimber. Hey, Kimber. I'm so happy that you came. Please get me out of this situation. Let's go ask Kimber about her day. She's like, thank you so much for coming. Did Sandy tell you to come? And she's like, yeah. What's going on? It's like, oh my gosh. She's like, thank you so much for coming. I'm so happy that you're here. She's like, of course, of course. And she's like, have you seen Seb? Like, yeah, I mean, he looks kind of, looks kind of weird. He looks weird today, but she's like, yeah, he looks insane. Like, look at his outfit. He looks crazy. Like, he smells like fish. And Kimber is like, <laughs> she's kind of laughing about it. She's like, you used to be obsessed with Seb. And I know he broke your heart and everything, but I think you're being a little bit judgy and harsh. Like, are you kidding me? He doesn't have a job. It's been six months. Like, he just bakes in the sun all day. And of course, Kimber <laughs> gets distracted by a boy. So, <laughs> that conversation is over. Okay, so now we're gonna sit here at the bubble blower. Let's go ahead, let's introduce Jamie to Seb. Like, this is Seb. She's not gonna say how they know each other beyond we went to college together. <laughs> Just kinda leave it at that. Was she gonna try it? I don't think she wants to try it. The bubble blower. He's kind of walking off. And here we'll also introduce Sandy to Jamie. Sandy, of course, is not doing her job as a buffer at all. Like, Mom. Or, come on. You're supposed to be helping me. Let's ask for some reassurance from Sandy. Get off of this bubble blower. It's like, did I make a huge, huge mistake in inviting Seb here? It's like, I don't know. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Sandy's probably thinking, I hang out with my ex almost every single day. I have no idea. And by her ex, she means Kimber. It's like, I don't, I don't know anything about this type of stuff. I'm just kind of going with the flow. It was like, just be cool. And I'm wondering, I mean, she's inspired, but she does seem a bit stressed out about Seb being here. She's also extremely tired. And we still have to finish our article. So we might end up being stuck here burning the midnight oil. I think what we will do is say goodbye to Seb, at least for now. So we started getting in, we came over to say goodbye to Seb, but we started getting into a conversation about our dreams and, and things of that nature. And we're going to just kind of talk to him a little bit more. I think that, you know, especially I think that Sandy was right. We are being a little bit harsh on Seb. Um, he's was a really great guy, even though our relationship didn't work out. We're gonna talk talk to him about our article that we're writing about climate change, and he could be a good source since he's living in. Oh well, he's disappearing, and she's she's going. He could be a good source since he's now living in Sulani and, and there's a lot of activism going on there. So she does have to finish this article. We do have to complete that. And even though we're exhausted, we have to finish it. Let's see if, let's see if she'll finish it even though she's like dog tired. Okay, so she is finally finished. Now we just have to submit the book. I never remember how to do. I think we go here. Where is it? She's done with the book. And she's going to pass out. Oh gosh, please tell me that she finished it. We don't have a lot of time. Oh, come on. You have two hours. And I thought you were done. Okay, she's finished. All right, let's submit the book. Send to client for approval with 
so much time to spare it looks like a couple of people oh she got paid for it awesome it was approved and it looks like even sandra here um was burning the midnight oil but it is saturday it is the weekend let's go ahead let's send bailey home and then maybe go to her parents this weekend look at this isn't this the cutest thing the cat is sleeping on the bed with her <laughs> that's so adorable it's 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 literally me and my cat this is literally me and my kitty all right so it is three in the afternoon bailey is bored and she's hungry let's go somewhere where she can have some fun and maybe hang out with some people uh let's get let's travel and let's travel with our little brother let's go to the bar that we used to hang out at um let's see let's get okay so here we are at the bar with our little brother we're here in brightchester with our little brother and addy and hugo and kimber and christina and like I said, Bailey is kind of in a place right now where she just kind of wants to meet people and hang out and not get too serious, not get too deep. But what I think we will try to do is spark a little bit of romance between some of these guys. So right now my eyes are set on I'm going to pronounce this Andre because I can never pronounce this Sim's name and I picked it. That's the sad part. So we're going to do a little bit of a flirt with him. Granted, you know, we tried our, we tried to shoot our shot with him when we were in college. It didn't work out for some reason. People are freaking out about how he looks here. Let me see. Maybe the CC is broken. There we go. And oh he is into it it looks as if our new sense of confidence and coolness has maybe caused him to change his mind about us let's ask him about his day and we'll do a little we'll do another little flirt she's also talking to this guy with the church lady hat on which is cool must be somebody that he knows and she's like i'm so happy that we're eating now i'm so hungry First off, let's ask if he's secret. Where is he going? Okay, okay, okay. So we are, <laughs> we are at the bar and Amar has sent us this text. Miss me yet? Want to come over and relax with me? We can watch your favorite shows. That seems really sus, but we are out with our friends. So we're going to say no for now. Let's play some beer pong. Gonna try and get her fun up and we did invite our friends out and of course that also means Seb is still in town so he's still here and oh my gosh what is going on even though Seb is here we're gonna still be a little bit flirty with Andre granted the two of them Seb and Andre were at one point roommates and really good friends so <laughs> We don't, I, I think there's a little bit of like, we want to show Seb that we're doing great without him. And two, we also kind of want to throw it in his face a little bit, you know, since he broke our heart to a thousand pieces, uh, we're going to flirt with his friend and show him, you know, we're over it. We're cool. She is finally having some fun, which is nice. Let's see, she's totally losing at beer pong. Totally losing, but she's having fun, so I don't think she really cares. <laughs> she's like, oh, it's fine. Oh, Andre is already seeing somebody. Well, you know what, that's okay. We can still be flirty with you. Doesn't mean that he's in a happy relationship. Who is he dating? Not this lady. We could still flirt with him. He's not married. We'll compliment his appearance. Let's give him a bold pickup line. We're feeling confident. Oh, and we got a little bit of romance there. So that's nice. And he's feeling flirty. So we'll just say, you know what? I used to be, I used to have a huge crush on you. 
but we'll let that go for now. Let's see, we're hungry again. Let's get some more of this. And of course, Seb is still here being weird, probably. So it looks like Seb is also feeling a bit confident. We're gonna sit and have a, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna come over, mom, please. Calm down. Oh, he's feeling flirty. Oh, goodness. I don't know if we're ready for that. At least not with him. But she is happy. She wants to hug somebody. Let's see. Maybe we'll give him a hug. Oh, no. Actually. Oh, God. Where the hell did she go? All right. So it is almost 8 a.m. on Sunday morning. I'm going to have... Bailey go to her parents' house because talk about a codependent family. They have been bothering her all week to come visit. And as much as she loves her family, I think she kind of feels like, you know, I'm trying to be independent and be on my own. And I feel like you guys aren't letting me do that. So here we are and they're very happy that she's here. And let's compliment mom's outfit. She looks pretty as usual let's brighten dad's day because we got that charisma life going on we'll knock on the door as we get in i feel like they need to give us a key because what they need to do is give us a key because why is he so afraid why is dad so scared oh no all right he's happy now Maybe he was worried about her coming to Willow Creek all by herself. I don't know. These people have kind of lost their minds a little bit in, in Bailey's mind. She's like, oh, my parents. We'll come in. Let's ask little bro about school. Just put his food bowl. Put, um, put, we just put Oscar's food bowl down in his litter box while we're here. We'll probably go ahead and stay through till Monday. Her job, they don't, I, in my mind, they don't work on Mondays. I think Monday is a day off <laughs> for the, the writers at Conscious and Awake. So they take like a three day weekend. It says he doesn't have deep personal conversation. It says he doesn't have a career, but he should be in school. Okay. So we'll go ahead and end this part here with Bailey leveling up in her dancing and her dancing with her dad. They're so cute. Uh, oh, is everybody coming to dance? Oh, this is, this is the type of family that would on a Sunday afternoon just be dancing. <laughs> just dance away. Such a cute family. If you enjoyed this part, please let me know by way of pressing the like button comment down below what do you think so far what do you think about the guys that bailey is kind of going for what do you think about seb should she consider getting back with seb who knows we might we might check in on him and sulani in the upcoming episodes and if you haven't already and you want to see more content from me please subscribe i try to post every week and i would love to have you be a part of the selfie family as always my name is sussy and i promise never to break your game bye